Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, welcome back to learningconstruction.com. And on this episode, we want to talk about how to overlap rebar. When you're placing rebar, you'll notice that sometimes you have to go on much larger lengths than, than the bar will have. So at that point, you're going to need a splice. Making a splice is relatively simple as long as you're looking at your drawings. If you look at your drawings, most of the time it will be in a general note. Uh, where it will tell you how many inches does the splicing has to be on the rebar. Now it's pretty typical for the splicing to not be uh, called spelled out on so many inches. They will actually tell you how many times the bar diameter of the rebar is for the splice. So how do you calculate this splice? Well, uh, it's a very simple formula actually. It's typically uh, a number of times the diameter of your bar. So for example, as you can see in this video right here, I have a number 5 rebar, which is 5 eighths, and on the drawings they want 48 times the bar diameter. So you multiply it 48 times 5 eighths of an inch, and that will give you the, the length. Then the next thing that you need to know is um, you, the, the drawings will tell you if the splice is on each bar, which is very typical to go on each bar. Okay, well, once you splice the river, don't forget that you want to tie it in. And uh, sometimes the, the structural drawings will ask you for how many ties they want on the splices. And in other times, it's a basic assumption. You obviously want to make more than four ties, two at the end, and uh, whatever ones you need in the center. That all depends on, this, on the length and the splice. Like I said in many videos before, you want to make sure this thing is really, really, really tight and is very well secured. You don't want this thing falling apart when you're pouring the concrete, so don't go cheap on your ties. Well, I hope you guys liked it and uh, it was a pretty good video for you. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, don't forget to put it in the box below. And uh, don't forget to check out learningconstruction.com. Thank you guys. Bye.